Okay, which one of you jokers ordered the 300 pounds of beef stroganoff? Breaker's intel placed Mindbender in this building. We grab him, we can force him to tell the truth about the Springfield lab. What do you mean he's not here? We ain't leaving till we get a signature. Roadblock, tunnel rat, aboard. Wait. It doesn't have to be a total loss. Ooh, this baby's tough, reliable, and good looking. Geez, why don't you marry it? Full back! To where? Please, I've been nothing but loyal to you. I demand not just a loyalty, Dr. Sharma, but devotion. Take Dr. Bender. He not only does his job, he is thoughtful enough to bring gifts. Perhaps you can explain why you logged into this website 17 times in the past month. I read Breaker's blog. Everyone in the company does, but that doesn't mean... Suspect you are lying. I do apologize. Mr. Ducobre is wrapping up another appointment. Tell your boss that James McCullen is not a man to be kept waiting. I wasn't aware this meeting was open to student interns. James McCullen, Dr. Brian Bender. I know the name, and the reputation. Play nice, James. Dr. Bender is one of Cobra's most valuable resources. And you, at the moment, are not. Now, Baroness, don't be so hard on Mr. McCullen. True, his exo-armor hasn't met expectations. But I have an idea that will give the technology new life. I'd like Mr. McCullum to combine his exo-armor with an exciting project Dr. Bender is working on. Time out! Genius biophysicist here, not popgun fabricator. And why would I want to sully my construction with his voodoo? Because Cobra invested $14 billion in your failure, and you have yet to produce a working prototype. Now, if you prefer... I could simply recoup my losses by taking a controlling interest in your company. Never! Mars Industries will always belong to the McCullen family. The McCullens have a name for those who embarrass our clan. Destro. From the Latin destraho, meaning to tear apart, alienate, estrange. In other words, royally blow it. I will not become a Destro. Breaker, I need to get in touch with your whistleblower directly. We need to hit Cobra again, now. Yeah, maybe we can knock another antenna off a roof for no apparent reason. Well, you did manage to slow their internal communications network for several hours. There you go. Sticking it to Cobra is reason enough for me. Sticking it to Cobra isn't the mission. Clearing our names is. And you would have, if you'd arrived just 15 minutes earlier when Mindbender was still waiting to get his parking ticket stamped. The Cobra strikes, the Joes are there. These daring underground heroes are sworn to protect you from Shut that noise evil. off. Oh, dial down. In this country, we ease into our work day. What is that? It's called the internet, Gramps. Those soldiers. 
They're the ones who destroyed my Chicago facility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They trashed my lab in Springfield. No biggie. Wake up, Junior. Daddy's got a new toy for you. Fail to see how your homunculus would improve upon my exo armor. Seems like you fail, period, Scotty Dog. That's why you're working under moi. Because my babies are a lot tougher than your decrepit test pilots. Trust me, I've seen the footage. Why is the combat rage effect still present? I thought your bio vipers were brainless. You're brainless. My creations come complete with a synthetic neuroprocessing compound. My exo-armor is designed to stimulate a fight-or-flight instinct within the brain! That would have been helpful to know before we ran the test. Why does it not surprise me that you have a ready list of places to bury your mistakes? Not burying, storing. This may look like a garbage barge, but it's actually a Cobra weapons transport, which means there's 10,000 pounds of your boom boom hidden under this trash. So Squinty McScarface better not do anything to set it off. Where's the Midnight Rider leading us this time? He's not leading. While you were snoring, I've been working. Cobra weapons ship? Breaker's whistleblower send you this? Found him lurking on the blog's encrypted chat board. Did you double check this info with Breaker? If the tip's bogus, all it costs us is a tank of gas. And a good night's sleep. You call your feet in my face a good night's sleep? Let me ask another question. This leads us to Mindbender How? Who cares? If we can serve up a little Cobra payback, I say hand me a spoon. That's the all clear, let's move. So this barge is fully automated and completely unguarded? Running weapons and taking people's jobs? That is too evil. More like too easy. I could use a little more easy in my life. Looks like you get your wish, Tunnel Rat. Along with all the proof of Cobra's smuggling operation. those pop guns down there, we all pop. Show of hands, who's the jumping ship? Better idea, aim for the weapons. You wanna blow us up? If we can't have the evidence, neither will Cobra. And you thought this barge had nothing to do with Mindbender. Authorities are at a loss to explain the cause of last night's garbage barge explosion on the Schuylkill River. It appears our whistleblower has resurrected himself. Or did you finger the wrong man? No, Commander. I am currently investigating several possible sources of the leak. Mindbender. Would you care to explain why this bio-viper material was discovered among the debris of a destroyed Cobra weapons barge? 
No idea. James? Goo is not my area of expertise. Yeah, speaking of expertise, how about you actually fix your Exo Armor's rage problem? All right, you can't! Enough. You have solutions? Speak. How would you improve the Exo Armor? I wouldn't. I'd improve the pilot. Stick a biofeedback dampener in its cortex, curb the natural aggression, centralize higher motor function, and make the Viper easier to control. See that bagpipe? You keep your mouth shut, I make things happen. This biofeedback dampener, it would work with humans as well. Humans, bio-vipers, heck, even a simian like you. Perhaps this collaboration will bear fruit after all, James. In more ways than one, Baroness. Ew. What are you doing here? Why'd you sneak off? Breaker's whistleblower insisted on meeting in person this time. And you thought that was a good idea because? Because this time he has something on mission. Put it away. I'm unarmed. I understood you would be alone. Security detail. You don't mind. Everything you need on Dr. Mindbender is in there. So who are you? A friend. Access codes, maps, a how-to guide for taking down bio-vipers? It's like Christmas morning. And no one else thinks this present is a little too neatly wrapped. It's a risk I'm willing to take. It's more than a risk. It's reckless. I've seen this with troops in combat. They do some damage to the enemy, and suddenly they think they're invincible. I'm tired of running and hiding. I say we keep fighting and winning. How is chopping down a communications tower and detonating a garbage barge winning? Has anyone even bothered to ask what Mindbender is doing in a Mars facility? Fair question. You can ask Mindbender yourself when we capture him. You're not even gonna wait for Snake Eyes? He's not pinging back on his comm link. And as we've learned, Mindbender's not one to linger. Could be our one chance, Duke. We gotta take it. Yeah, we nail Mindbender, we can kiss this life on the lamb goodbye. Doesn't that qualify as on mission? Suicide mission. Check your gear. We're radio silent from here on. Ten minutes, and I'm coming in after you. Snake Eyes, where have you been? Why do I bother asking? Duke, where's Scarlet? Hitting the target your whistleblower fed her last night. Impossible. My contact dropped off the grid three days ago. And who did Scarlet and I meet? Their aims improved too. Didn't you grunts read the intel? New chips in their heads give them artificial intelligence. And apparently make them a lot more vulnerable to head wounds. And what exactly is this urgent matter Mr. McCullen spoke of? I'm afraid he wouldn't tell me. I'd much rather show both of you. As you can see, Mindbender's bio-vipers contain a fatal design flaw, an Achilles heel. 
or head. But at Mars Industries, we believe that every problem has a solution. My highly trained Iron Grenadiers and my fully functional exo-armor are more than capable of vanquishing any threat, even your bothersome Joes. You now have your working prototype, and as a bonus, a more than ample return on your investment, which fulfills all my obligations to Cobra Industries. However, if for some reason I cannot begin to fathom, you want Dr. Bender kept alive then you will place a substantial pre-order and pay a 50% deposit on, oh, let's say, 10,000 exo armor suits. A most interesting presentation, Mr. McCullen. Would you care to see my counter-proposal? Showtime! <laughs> Vipers! Okay, this wasn't part of the intel. Plan this attack. Dr. Mindbender is part of the Cobra family. He tells me everything, especially the details of your extracurricular activities. Really ought to beef up your cybersecurity mask, man. I mean, I could have hacked your system in my sleep. Hey, I gotta give you props for the barge, though. You hooked those Joes, reeled them in, gained their trust. You're good, Scotty Dog. But I know someone better. You thought you were pulling the strings, Mr. McCullen. Have you any idea with whom you are dealing? To Cobra? You will address me as Commander! about the head wounds. Your 10 minutes is up. We can't leave without Mindbender. I'll draw their fire. Go! I'll say it. I was wrong. I was so intent on hurting Cobra, I let Mindbender dupe me. But you were right about one thing. Cobra is way too powerful. We have to keep battling and winning. Fortunately, our enemy revealed an Achilles heel today. How exactly do killer tin cans and superpowered mucus add up to an Achilles heel? Dudes were shooting at each other, which means Mars Industries and Cobra are playing nice. Your company, your life. Everything that was yours belongs to me now. Do you understand? <laughs> Release him, Sabentor. <Sir> <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you are my property, McCullen. And to ensure you never forget that, you will wear this. The symbol of your betrayal will now be the mark of your servitude. <laughs> told me that if you lost Mars, you would become a... Destroy!